Hello children, welcome to Vidya Mitra channel Siddhipet. Today we are going to learn about what are the parts of speech which is the foundation for English grammar. We will learn what exactly is parts of speech and what are its types along with examples. Finally, I am going to provide you an exercise to do for your practice. So, let's get started. What is parts of speech? To understand the concept of parts of speech, in English, every sentence is made up of words. These words are of different types based on their usage. So, children, let us understand with an example. Here you can see rose is a beautiful flower. In this, rose comes under noun, is is a verb and a is an article uh, which is a special type of adjective. Please remember this. And beautiful is an adjective and flower is a noun. So, children, here you might get a doubt in your mind like how are these words identified and how they are classified into noun or verb or an adjective. So let us go through the next slide. So here children there are eight parts of speech like first is noun, a pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. So these are all eight parts of speech. Let us understand one by one. Let's see what is a noun. A noun is a word used as a name of a person, place, thing, animal or an idea. So let us uh, uh, think about a person's name like our Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi. His name may be uh, taken as noun and coming to place, place like our Sindhipet district and thing like a grammar book or our English textbook and animal like lion, tiger, dog and cat and finally an idea like happy, joy, fun, sad etc. Now let's see the usage of nouns in a sentence. Here you can see that P. V. Sindhu is a great player. Here both P. V. Sindhu and player are considered as nouns. And Hyderabad is a big city. Hyderabad and city both are nouns in this uh, sentence. And grammar book is on the table. Both grammar book and table. And lion is the king of the forest. Lion and king and forest. All these three comes under noun. And finally, uh, honesty is the best policy. Honesty, it's an idea, it's a feeling. And policy and honesty, these both come under nouns. So, now let's uh, next observe what is a pronoun. Here, pronoun is a word that is used instead of noun. Uh, you might get a doubt here. Why should we use pronoun instead of noun? What is its advantage? So the, uh, its advantage can be understood by uh, one example here. You can see that uh, Ramesh is a boy. Ramesh is in 8th class. Ramesh likes to become a doctor. Here if you uh, observe the sentence Ramesh is a word that is repeated three times and it is creating some sort of repeatedness. So it can be rewritten something like this. Ramesh is a boy. He is in 8th class and he wants to become a doctor. Uh, children, you observe that the second and third time uh, Ramesh word is not used. Uh, instead of Ramesh, he is used. So, uh, you observe the sentence to the previous one and this sentence. 
I think this the second sentence is very easy to read and write. So that's the usage of pronoun. Now let's see uh, or understand something more about pronoun uh, with few more examples. Uh, Sita is absent because she is ill. Here Sita is a noun and she is used instead of Sita. So second time it is not repeated. And we need to complete the homework. Here we is also a pronoun. And you can see the next one. You are good at uh, your studies. You and your both are pronouns. So now let's see another part of speech. That is verb. What is a verb? A verb is a word that expresses or that is used to express an action or state of a subject. Uh, here action may include uh, like read, jump, play, watch, see etc. And the state of words is like uh, feel, doubt, appear. And here to be words like is, are, was, were etc. Now let us understand something more about uh, verb by going through the examples. She fell on the road. Here in this sentence fell comes under verb that is it is uh, expressing the action of that girl. And the next one is uh, he feels happy today. It's a stative word. Here feels is a stative verb. And Charminar is in Hyderabad. Here in this sentence is is a verb. It's a stative verb. Now let us quickly jump into another part of speech that is adjective. What is an adjective? Adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. So this can be understood by going through the sentence. Here he is a boy. It's a sentence. It's a meaningful sentence. But uh, it can be uh, presented in a different way. The boy can be described by adding a word brave. Here he is a brave boy. This brave word comes under adjective as it is describing about the, it is telling about the boy, it is expressing about the boy. Now let us understand more about adjective with few more examples. There are 40 students in each class. Here the number 40 is an adjective because it's describing about the strength of the students. And they live in a small village. Here small is an adjective as it is describing about the uh, noun that is village. And sweetie is an adorable baby. Here the word adorable is an adjective as it is describing more, something more about that baby. Now let us look into another part of speech that is adverb. What is an adverb? Adverb is a word that describes a verb, an adjective and another adverb as well. Now let us understand more about adverb by going through these examples. Here one first one is uh, she completed her homework. Here in this sentence complete is the verb and something can be added to this verb and then the sentence can be uh, rewritten as she completed her work very quickly. So uh, this quickly comes under adverb and see the next example. The flower is beautiful. In this sentence beautiful is an adjective and this adjective can be presented in a more better way like the flower is very beautiful. So in this sentence very comes under adverb and next John was running slowly. Here slowly is an adverb and this adverb can also be uh, described in uh, with 
more information. Like John was running too slowly. Here in this sentence, too comes under an adverb. Now, children, let us see another part of speech that is preposition. What is preposition? Preposition is a word that uh, links a noun or pronoun with other words of a sentence. Here, link means uh, preposition provides a relationship between noun or pronoun with other words in a sentence and after using it, it gives us a complete meaningful sentence. Uh, direction, time and location of a noun with other words of a sentence. Now, let us understand the concept of preposition by observing the sentence uh, in an example. The cup is the table. Here, if you uh, read this sentence, uh, we can get an idea that both uh, uh, the cup and the table are nouns. But we are unable to get the relationship between them. At this time, now preposition enters into the scene. And see how it gives this sentence can be rewritten as the cup is on the table. So if we, if we observe this sentence, we can get the location of the cup. Where is the cup with respect to the table? Now, let us see few more examples. The bird is in the garden. Here, in this sentence, in is a preposition and it is showing us the location of bird with respect to garden. Uh, the old man sat under a tree. Here, uh, under is a preposition and it is letting us know the location of the old man with respect to and the online courses are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here in this sentence, uh, from and to come under preposition. It is giving us an information regarding the timing. So, children, you might have understood that preposition is a word which gives or links or uh, set up a relationship between noun and other words in a sentence. Now let us see an, another part of speech that is conjunction. What is conjunction? Conjunction is a word that links or joins words or sentences. It connects uh, either words to words or to sentences. This can be understood by an example here. You can see that Ramu is good at studies. Hari is good at studies. These two sentences can be uh, written as one sentence. Like uh, Ramu and Hari are good at studies. Here and is uh, a conjunction used to combine two sentences. And it made us simple to read and write. That's the uh, action or that's the usage of conjunction. Let us understand about conjunction by going through few more examples. She is short but very cute. Here but is a conjunction. It is uh, combining the characters of uh, a girl. She is very short but very cute. And she usually eats at home because she likes cooking. Here in this sentence because is a conjunction. And you can eat ice cream or cake. In this sentence or or is a conjunction. And two and two make four. And is a conjunction in this sentence. Uh, now let us see quickly get into the last part of speech that is interjection. What is interjection? Interjection is a word used to express our feelings like uh, sudden feelings or our emotions. Now let us understand more about interjection 
by going through these examples. Children, you might have remembered when our Prime Minister declared lockdown in last year. So, how did we feel? Something like this. Oh, we need to stay at home in lockdown. Here in this sentence, oh is an interjection word. And next is, hooray, we won the game. In this sentence, hooray is an interjection which expresses our feelings of happiness or joy. And next is, alas, he is no more. In this sentence, alas is an interjection which is used to express the feeling of our sadness. Alas is used when one person is uh, not alive. So we generally feel sad. And next is bingo. We completed all parts of speech today in our class. Yes, bingo is an interjection uh, which gives us the or which expresses the feeling of happiness. And congratulations, you learnt. Like even this word comes under interjection. It uh, expresses our joy and happiness that we completed the lesson today. So dear children, you might have observed here, after writing the word uh, which is an interjection, like uh, O, oh, Hooray or Wow, Bingo and Alas and a any other word. But one exclamation mark should be written. Then only it uh, gives us a complete uh, emotions. Like our emotions may be expressed. And one more thing you have to keep in your mind that they are not so important. But if we write them in a sentence, it gives or it uh, stress the importance of our inner feelings. So that's the usage of interjections. Finally, we have covered all parts of speech. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Now I will give you a simple exercise uh, for practice. I will provide you a sentence. You have to identify the parts of speech. Which word comes under which part of speech. The sentence is something like this. Oh no, the quick brown fox jumped over lazy dog and its puppy quickly escaped. So children, read the sentence once again and try to identify all the words in this sentence and identify them and write under which part of speech they come. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.